Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sharon tears apart Faith's teddy bear warning signs of a dangerous scheme. Young and the restless spoilers suggest that family members will continue to be concerned about Sharon Newman's actions. As followers will remember, Phyllis Summers was present at the hospital upon Faith Newman's admission following her collision with Lucy Romilotti's vehicle. Red's gift of a teddy bear to Faith infuriated Sharon. The September 11th broadcast showed that the teddy bear was taken home. When Mariah Copeland saw the stuffy and inquired as to whether it belonged to Sharon, her mother snatched it up and threw it away. Could Sharon harm the teddy bear in some way that would raise additional red flags in the bear's behavior? According to YNR teasers, Sharon has been very enraged with Phyllis lately. Although they had never been close, they were at least polite until this plot. Regretfully, Sharon has been very angry with Red lately and doesn't want the other ex-partner of Nick Newman to be anywhere near her daughter. Not helping matters is the fact that Sharon isn't taking her bipolar medication, which has intensified and strengthened her hatred of Phyllis. Sharon might find it upsetting that Faith spoke to Phyllis wanted to see her in the hospital, and appeared to be smitten with the teddy bear. It appears that Sharon's Cameron Kirsten delusion is encouraging her to devise a disastrous scheme with Daniel Romilotti. However, the lives of Phyllis, Lucy, and Heather Stevens are also in jeopardy. Even while Sharon may be focused on Daniel, their exchanges with Phyllis appear to portend that there will be more between the two women and that Red may be the person Sharon hurts in the end. Could Sharon become so enraged at Cameron's constant teasing that she tears the teddy bear to pieces? She might do this action just before deciding to attack Daniel. Faith will be worried and devastated if she finds it. But what if she and her sister Mariah discover the teddy bear together? Mariah had, after all, told Nick lies to get Sharon's prescription drugs. Maybe she'll realize it wasn't a good idea to fill in for her mom particularly if she locates the teddy bear and is unable to locate Sharon. Will Mariah and Faith recognize from this warning sign that Sharon might be putting Phyllis in danger? Will Sharon's current mental health breakdown be revealed through Faith's teddy bear? Cupid Connor, Sharon's dreadful plan, and Phyllis's declaration. A teaser clip for the week of September 16th, 2024, has been published, according to spoilers for The Young and The Restless. In it, Connor Newman makes an attempt to get Chelsea Lawson and Adam Newman back together. In the meantime, Sharon Newman is forced into a horrifying retaliation plot by Cameron Kirsten. Phyllis Summers also makes an unexpected announcement. Let's discuss what's going to happen in the CBS soap opera next week as you continue to read. According to YNR spoilers for the week of September 16th, Phyllis makes a significant statement in the preview clip. Following the issuance of a proposal, Phyllis and Billy Abbott came to an agreement. Seeing what Phyllis says to persuade Billy to offer her a position at Abbott Chancellor should be intriguing. Chance Chancellor offered to be Billy's right-hand man when Lily was fired. But Chance declined, and as a result, he resigned. What does Phyllis say to Billy specifically then? More like what type of intelligence does Phyllis promise? Billy and Phyllis are shown at the Abbott Chancellor office in the weekly preview segment. Phyllis holds up her hand to introduce herself as Abbott Chancellor's new COO. As the camera pans closer, Lily jerks her head to see beyond Phyllis. Lily mouths the word, wow, as she fixes her gaze on a far-off Billy. Spoilers for the upcoming week of September 16th on The Young and The Restless indicate that Connor is going to attempt to play Cupid. Connor informs Adam in the weekly preview film that he had a nice day with Sally Spectra. Connor goes on to say that Adam and Chelsea had a deeper connection. Will all these years later, Connor get to see his parents again? The stakes are upped for Sharon and those she has found guilty of throughout the week of September 16th. Hallucination Cameron is told by Sharon that what he is proposing is disgusting. Cameron retorts that Sharon came up with the concept, not him. Cameron is accurate. This is merely a hallucination. Cameron is dead. Though the illusion is highly convincing, Sharon's mind's deepest recesses are the source of all the concepts. Will Sharon resist this, or is the inconceivable possible? The fact that Mariah Copeland misled Nick Newman regarding Sharon's bipolar meds doesn't help either. 
Mariah has no idea how awful this is going to grow because she wasn't around for Sharon's prior outbursts. Claire's temptation, Sharon's skyrocketing stakes, and Billy's jeopardy. Spoilers for the upcoming week of September 16th, 2024 on The Young, and The Restless are available. Fans can anticipate that Cameron Kirsten will push Sharon Newman into a more menacing role starting next week. Claire Grace Newman encounters an allure. Billy Abbott, meantime, takes a chance. Discover what will happen in the CBS soap opera next week by continuing to read. The events of the week of September 16th indicate that Sharon's and everyone else's stakes will rise dramatically. Sharon has been seeing Cameron's hallucinations a lot recently. In addition, Sharon's thoughts included Nick and Cassie Newman. The most unsettling hallucination, though, is Cameron as it appears Sharon is beginning to regard him more as a friend than a monster. Cameron will not stop pressuring Sharon to exact a dark and menacing retribution. Sharon appears committed to exacting a fatal punishment on Daniel Romilotti, Jr. But could Sharon pull herself together at the last minute? Of course, it's also feasible that Lucy Romilotti or even Faith Newman will become targets in Cameron's plot. Sharon says that everything is done to keep Faith safe, but would it be excessive to take Faith hostage in order to save her from Lucy? Additionally, Phyllis Summers or Heather Stevens can become the target. Sharon might even be disturbed by her acts and believe she is hallucinating the wrong person. Spoilers for the next week of September 16th on The Young and The Restless indicate that Nick Newman senses something is off with Sharon. Nick requested that Mariah Copeland verify Sharon's medication. Though all that viewers saw was an ibuprofen bottle, Mariah claimed that Sharon is being truthful about taking the medication. What then makes Mariah lying? Or perhaps something wasn't displayed on screen. Fans can also anticipate that Audra Charles will target Kyle Abbott during the week of September 14th. Claire will be tempted as Kyle grows closer to her. Given that Summer has lately given Claire a chance, a romantic triangle might seriously disrupt the dynamics within the family. Billy is also hinted at rethinking a proposal. Following a meeting with Phyllis, this occurs. It sounds like Phyllis and Billy might collaborate, which should make for a fascinating situation. Young and the restless spoilers suggest that family members will continue to be concerned about Sharon Newman's actions. As followers will remember, Phyllis Summers was present at the hospital upon Faith Newman's admission following her collision with Lucy Romilotti's vehicle. Red's gift of a teddy bear to Faith infuriated Sharon. The September 11th broadcast showed that the teddy bear was taken home. When Mariah Copeland saw the stuffy and inquired as to whether it belonged to Sharon, her mother snatched it up and threw it away. Could Sharon harm the teddy bear in some way that would raise additional red flags in the bear's behavior? According to YNR teasers, Sharon has been very enraged with Phyllis lately. Although they had never been close, they were at least polite until this plot. Regretfully, Sharon has been very angry with Red lately and doesn't want the other ex-partner of Nick Newman to be anywhere near her daughter. Not helping matters is the fact that Sharon isn't taking her bipolar medication. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.